Hello, class. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. How are how is everybody? Good. 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 And your teacher? I'm fine. Good. I'm doing good. Um just finishing off the week, which is nice. Um, and yeah, just hanging in there. And um, oh, so base, uh, let me see. Oh my goodness, I well, I have two girls. One is connecting. Hello, um, Magali, are you there? Magali, are you there? Hello, I'm here. <laughs> okay, good, good. How are you, Magali? I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Welcome to today's class. Um, I'm glad to see all of you today. Um, let me see. Um, well, let me say hi to Marvin. How are you, Marvin? Hi, hi teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that, Marvin. Um, how was your day today? Uh, well, today I didn't know too much. Uh, I see this is my day off. Oh, really? Today's your day off? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Good. I'm glad to hear that. What did you do? Uh, repass the, les the lesson. You reviewed the lesson. Yes, review the lesson. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, that's excellent. Um, and um, yeah, well, very good. And did you go out? Did you do something fun? Excuse me? Did you go out? Did you do anything fun? Uh, no. In my house, stay in my house. Okay, okay, that sounds good. That's good. Okay, um, Juan Francisco, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. Ready to learn? Yes. All right, excellent. Glad to hear that. How are you, Manuel? Manuel Rodríguez. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm fine and ready to the class. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. All right, Josue, how are you doing? Josué Alberto, how are you doing? I'm taking a rest. You're resting, really? Um, good, good, good. Was today your day off yeah. as well? Yeah, today is my, <laughs> my yeah. day off. And tomorrow oh, that's too. Nice. And tomorrow too. Yeah. Nice. Do you work on the do you work on the weekends? Yeah. Oh well, okay. Well, at least you, you are able to rest um, during the week and, and mm -hmm. that helps a little bit with like doing other things that you can't do. Um, for example, sometimes you want to go the, to the bank and if you are working during the week it's very difficult right so at least you can do something like that okay good all right let me say hi to andres yeah. Giovanni. that's true hi teacher hi how are you doing everything okay teacher 
Good. Okay. Excellent. All right. I'm glad to hear that. How 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 has your week been so far? Sorry. How has your week been so far? Uh, I don't understand. Teacher. In in this moment. Uh, when you look at your week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, how do you, um, how do you think your week has been in, in general? Um, uh, I think it was good. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear yeah. that. Okay, guys. Um, well, um, let me say hi to Francisco Javier. How are you, Francisco? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Good. What about you? I'm pretty good. Yeah, thanks. And Elsie, nice. how are you, Elsie? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Glad, glad to hear that. Julio Cesar, welcome. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing okay. Good. I'm just okay. getting incorporated. Sorry, what, what did you say? I'm just getting incorporated to the class. Oh, okay, uh, okay, great. Well, we're glad to have you. All right, you. and Suleyma uh, Yvonne, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm fine, thank you. Good, I'm glad to hear you and see you. I, 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 I always feel that um, you have, you are in so many different places with your background. <laughs> you are, you are yeah. like in all the different um, seasons of the year. Yeah, four seasons. Yeah, very I like nice. that background. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay. Thank What's your you. favorite season? Uh, I think it's summer. Summer. Yeah. Yeah, I got to say that summer is my favorite too. I really like summer. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Um, let me see who I've said hi to. Elsie uh, Janet. Um, do you have your 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 camera? Uh -huh, there she is. Okay. All right. Good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. And uh, Magali, how are you? Fine. Oh, okay. Fine. Great. There's another one that it has always this really nice view in the back. I think I'm going. I'm think I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a view like that. It's, it looks nice. Okay. All right, guys. Let me take attendance before we start. Um, Alejandra Maria, she here? No. Okay. All right. So so far, no. Um, let's see. We have um, Andres Giovanni. Yes, right. Okay, yeah. Yes, here. Great. And we have Edgar uh, Menjiva. Yes. Present teacher. Great. And Elsie Janet. Present teacher. Great. Um, Fabiola. Fabiola Georgina, not here? Okay. All right. Not here. Um, Francisco Javier. Uh, okay, great. Um, and we have um, Irena Sustena. All right. Irena Sustena, no, okay. Okay. Um, let's see, we have Jennifer Magali. Present. Okay, great. And. Uh, Josue Alberto. Alberto? No. Okay. All right, we're missing a lot of people today. Uh, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco, yes. Right. Great. Okay. Cesar is here. Carla Cano. Carla Cano. Present teacher. Oh, there she is. Welcome. Hello. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. 
Oh, it's okay. Well, I'm glad you that you were able to come at least, right? So that's the important thing. Um, Carla Lopez. Carla Lopez, no, right? Okay, I still don't know anything. Eh, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Oh, there he is. Okay. Wonderful. Manuel de Jesus Montoya. Manuel, 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 no, right? No, he hasn't connected yet. Okay. Eh, Mariel, Mariela de Los Angeles. No, right? Okay. Uh, Marvin Wilfredo. Yes. Werner? Werner is not here? No. Okay. And Sola Noemi? Soyla, yes, Soyla, 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 no, I mean, no, right? Okay. And finally, Suley Maivon, with her four seasons, is here. Okay, good. Well, we're missing quite a few people here. Okay. All right, guys. Well, welcome to um, today's class for the people that um, are just, oh, Warner just connected. Good. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Warner. All right. Okay, guys. So um, welcome to today's class. Like I said, um, I'm glad to see you guys. Uh, for the people that are just connecting, welcome. And um, so today, guys, um, I want to talk about products. I, I want to talk about the products that you you guys told me a, a while ago that many of you order products online. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe you don't do it constantly, but you've done it in the past, right? So that you told me that. So guys, tell me, how many of you have ordered a product online and felt that it didn't meet your expectation? Put up your hand. How many of you have ever ordered a product online and you, or, or not just online, but it could also be from like a catalog. You asked them, um, you saw it on, you know, you saw it on, on the internet and then you, um, then you ordered it from somebody, they brought it to you and you said, mm, this doesn't really work for me. <laughs> How many people have ever had that happen to you? So show of hands, you can put up your, your, your virtual hand. Really? Nobody? Okay, all right. So I have one person. Yeah, Andres as well. That's Giovanni. Who else? Come on, guys. Nobody else? Really? Only two people. I have Andres Giovanni and Soleil Maivon that has ordered something and not been satisfied. Oh, wow, that's great. I'm glad you guys have had a good experience. Now, for the people that, um, well, let, let, let me ask you guys, first of all. Um, so Andres, tell me a little bit about what did you order online that was not, that you didn't like? For example, a camera. Oh, okay, you uh -huh. ordered a camera, huh? Uh, uh, so the quality of the picture are not too good that I was, Oh, okay. So you were expecting a better quality camera. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, did you complain about it? No. No, no you just, I didn't. Uh, you know, oh, well, better luck next time. Have you ever heard of that, ex uh, that expression, guys? Better luck next time? Yes, no? Have you ever read? Uh huh. I'll write it in the chat. Better luck next time. That's an, that's an expression that we use in English that means like, okay, and so next time it, it hopefully, let's, let's hope that things will be better. Okay. 
That's a very, very common expression. Okay. Um, all right. And um, one, one more question, Andres. Uh, where did you buy it from? From a, like um, the, the manufacturer? Or did you buy it from another person? I bought it uh, uh, online store, but it's not a manufacturer. It, it's from an online store, but what? Uh, it's not the, the manufacturer. Oh, it's, okay. it's, so the, it's you were uh, like the retailer, but not the manufacturer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. All right. Okay, what about Suleyma? Have you what what did you buy that you didn't you were not satisfied with? Uh, the first time that I bought something online, uh, I bought a dress, uh, but um, I make a mistake because I uh, I didn't see the measures of the dress, and oh, I bought it. Yes, uh, when the dress arrived, uh, the dress uh, was very, very small. And oh, no. I can wear it. <laughs> so you never wore the dress? No. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. And you could not return the dress and get a bigger size? Uh, no, because I, I bought the dress in a store in China. <laughs> oh okay. Uh, I bought the dress in eBay. Right. And and uh the dress was very cheaper. Uh don't don't never mind. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth yes. it. Yes. You guys know that expression? It wasn't worth it. So it wasn't worth it. No valió la pena. No valía la pena. It wasn't worth it. Yeah. Um yeah, well, you know what? That's a very good point, um, Suleyma Ivan. If you guys are buying clothes from China, just keep in mind that, you know, people in China are a little bit, well, much smaller than the average <laughs> person. <laughs> so so the, the large size for them is like a small here in in. in in Latin America, right? So, so yes, you got to keep that in mind. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Suleyma. Um, <laughs> well, that's life. You know, you just have to live with it. You're absolutely right. Okay. All right, guys. Well, what we're going to do right now, um, uh, I, we're going to, uh, first, uh, remember that yesterday we were talking about may and might. Right? Can somebody remind me what is the difference between or may and might? What is the, the, the main difference? How can you, how do you use a may? Well, let's talk about how do you use may that you do not use might with? Who remembers? Uh, you can use may on permissions and May and might you can use in possibilities. Right, okay, so may we use for, for permissions when you're asking for permission and when we're giving permission. And might, what, what is the only function of might that is not possible to use with may? Remember that we, we talked about that there's one way that we can use uh, might that you cannot use may. Do you remember? No, nobody uh, remembers? Questions about possibilities? Right, exactly. Questions about possibilities, right? For example, um, might might he might he uh, reject my offer? 
might he reject my offer? It means like, is there a possibility that he could reject my offer, right? So yes, very good. And what is the way that you can use might or may and it doesn't really matter? What do you use that for? Let me ask, let me see, Manuel. Manuel, do you want to ask, you want to tell me why you would use might and may interchangeably, like it doesn't make a difference? My, my, uh, I am, I am understand is power. Uh, my, uh, podri, uh, uh, um, podría ser, no sé. Right. Lo, lo, podría uh, is used for what? What is the function? What's the reason? Yes. Uh, what? What is the reason? Oh, yes. Um, my uh, 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 is possibly. It might uh, uh, is a verb. Right, very good. Okay, so possibility, absolutely, you're right. So, so we can use may and might for possibility interchangeably. So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, um, well, let's take a look first of all at our PowerPoint here. Tell me if you can see it. Can everybody see that? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. So what we're going to do right now, well, today is, uh, well, it's day number nine. It's Wednesday, March 11th, 2021. And we're going to start, first of all, um, by working out with these may and might. So over here, we have some beginning of sentences saying he mm -mm, satisfied, the warranty mm -mm, longer, et cetera, et cetera, and all these ones, right? Do you guys understand the word warranty? Do you understand the meaning of warranty? Warranty. Mm -hmm. Garantia. Garantia, exactly, yeah. Okay, so the warranty. So it is, is the warranty is what tells you um, how many years or months the, the product, um, the manufacturer or the person says, yes, I will, I will be responsible for it if something happens, right? Okay, so number, and so we have um, here six exercises and I, it says here to be able to use the word may or might. And also another thing is that you can use a compliment if you need a compliment. So I'm going to get you guys to work um, we'll work in groups and we're going to complete this exercise. Okay. So we'll, we'll, um, work in groups of like three or let's see, no, no, that won't work because I have, no, let's work in pairs because, um, I have 16 of you. And if I put you guys in groups of three, it won't, it won't add up. Okay. So. We're going to be working on this in pairs. Okay, so let me open up the rooms. Um, oh, wait a second. Some somebody left. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Um, all right, so I guess, yeah, okay. I guess I'll have to, we'll, we'll make groups of three. Okay, so that, that will be, there you go. Okay, so let's open up and work on that. 
And if you have, I will come around and answer any questions that you guys have. And hopefully we'll come back and we will, um, we will compare your answers with the class, okay? So let's open up the rooms, guys. Carla, are you having any problems? Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, any hi, teacher. <laughs> Any questions? No. That is uh, worse to, we need to create uh, sentences. Right, create the sentences, exactly. Create the sentences and you can add any words that you need if you think it's necessary, okay? Okay. You, teacher, you seen may? Or mate. Or might, yes. Or might or might. might. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, may or might. Okay. Okay, in the first ones I write he might not be satisfied with the product. Okay. Right. It's a um, possibility, verdad? Mm, yeah, I think it's a possibility. He might not be satisfied the product, dijo, vea. With the product. Uh, uh, with with the product. Okay. The sentence is correct, teacher. Is the sentence Can you correct? That? He might not be satisfied with the product. Yeah, that's fine. He might not be satisfied with the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, la, number two, the, the warranty made, night, night. The, uh, the warranty might be longer. Be longer. Um, Because um, ¿cómo le podríamos poner? Are you right? Mm -hmm. uh, the warranty may be longer than you are expecting. Yeah. I yeah. expect one or two years, and the warranty will be for five or six years. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. One of might be longer than your... Than you are expecting. Might. Okay. La otra is... Number, number three, the service not be excellent. Mm. 
It's a possibility. Okay, sure. what is said. the service? Sorry, teacher. Can you repeat what you said? The service not be excellent. Okay, good. The problem is that you're missing a verb. What is the verb? Be? Yeah, I, I use and the, um, the services may not be excellent, but with with will be enough. Okay, yeah. So notice that you have to use a, a, the verb and you use the verb be, which is fine. Yeah, just make yeah. sure that we, we don't, we have to use a verb, okay? So we can't just say the service might, might not excellent, right? Has to be the service. In that words, can I use uh, can, may or only my? Because it's a possibility. So it's your, your, cho your choice. It doesn't really matter. Okay. okay. All right. All right. I'm going to go and help the other groups. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. See you, Fisher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. The service name. Yes. Entonces, I think it's possibility. Yes. Um, sería the warranty, I think. The, the warranty, okay. Mick. Sí, yo diría que Mick. Be longer. Uh, may, uh, may, may. May. No. Teacher. Sí, may. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, Hi. Okay. Um, uh, may. Was, may. Hi, guys. Oh. I just wanted to actually ask you, um, eh, Magali and Soina, do you can is do you guys um are you are you having problems with the camera? Teacher, es que I I. Share um, uh, the screen. Oh, you're sharing the screen. Uh huh. Uh -huh. See. Oh. So it's just uh -huh. uh, uh, when your your project. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. I see. Show, so show, show my screen. Uh -huh. uh, close the, the video. camera. Ah, okay, okay. I understand. Okay, no problem. And what about Soila? Do you are you having problems with your camera? Soyla Noemi, are you there? Okay, maybe she's having problems there with the internet or, or something. Okay, all right, so, um, oh, there she is, okay. All right, so, hi Soyla, what happened? We are, are you having problems with the camera? Okay, well, in the meantime, guys, you can continue. So what, what are you guys, where are you? What exercise are you working on? Uh, number two, uh, we have a question. Uh-huh, okay, what was the question? Este, Marvin. ¿Sí? Marvin. Dígame. La pregunta. La pregunta, ah, ¿cuál es? Ok. Este, in this case, the warranty MIG be longer. Is correct. Teacher? Um, the warranty. Uh -huh, and, and what are you going to put? The warranty. Huh? What, what, what are you going to put next? My. Might. Be longer. Exactly. Might be longer. Hmm? Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. Teacher, uh, in this case, uh, don't use, for example, is, are, uh, 
sino que solo el be, el verb to be. Uh, yeah, the verb to be, exactly. You're just going to put the, the, the verb in the base form of the verb. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh huh. Okay. Any other questions? Mm, no. no. For me, no. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to go. Well, um, first of all, um, any anything else that you're having problems with? Any questions about may or might? Tenía, eh, sí, bien. Ya hay una cosa. Ya está el day. Ya. Veíamos lo de, de las preguntas. The question. Questions, yes. We, questions we, with, for possibilities. Uh -huh, possibilities. Uh -huh. Con may, but is no, common. No, 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 with may, with might. Um, with might is mm -hmm. common, is, is common use. Use it. With might? Mm -hmm. O sea, preguntas con, con might es como común hacerlas, o no, no mucho, ya hablando así, como, como fluido, ¿verdad? Como, como natal. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is that, is my my is the question? Porque me confunde un poco como permiso para eso está como could o can o o o o would like no sé entonces es es el my is other form for a question for possibility. Yeah, you're asking if the, if it's a possibility. That's the, the, the question is, is it a possibility? Uh, to give an example, if um, if number two was a question, it would look like this. I'm gonna write it in the chat. So it, it would be like this. Might the warranty be longer? Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Just give me a moment. Might the warranty be longer? Okay, there you go. So, um, can you see? Mm -hmm. Can you see in the chat? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, yes, so, I see. Yeah, uh huh. So, when you're asking about possibilities, you would start with the word might. Might the warranty be longer? Mm -hmm. Right? So it's okay. like saying, like if you're saying in Spanish, eh, podría la garantía ser más larga? Okay. Yeah, but eh, but we're talking about possibility, not, not permission. You're not asking for permission. It's the possibilities, right? Um, for example, um, to give you an example for number five, you say number five, might the mm -hmm. waiter be in a hurry? Might the waiter be in a hurry? Mm -hmm. Which would be like, podría ser que el, el, el mesero esté apurado? Mm -hmm. Right, so if we're talking about possibility. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Is como when, uh, como teniendo como preguntando como si yo digo podría como este traerme agua o, o por, por ejemplo no, 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 because podrías traerme agua es, es, es una solicitud. Can you? Una petición. Okay. Ahí sería no es una you? posibilidad. Oh. Right, so, mm -hmm. so we would say would, um, sorry, might, uh, might, uh, for example, might he be sick? Might he be sick? Podría él estar enfermo? When you're asking, is it a possibility? That's not a permission. Mm -hmm. It's not a permission, it's not a uh -huh. request, it's a possibility. Podría estar enfermo? 
Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the way form is may. Podemos mm -hmm. usar igual may ahí y oh, no, no cambia no, 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 la estructura. No, 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 no. No. For no. questions. For questions. Para preguntas sí solo only este. Only might. Only might. Oh, when solo para we're preguntas. talking about other possibilities. Podría ser esto, podría ser lo otro. Then you're going to be using may or might. Mm, okay. Okay. But for okay. questions about possibilities, only might. Might. But not oh. may. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Another. It, yes. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is all. It's also possible to use the word could. Could. Could he be? Could he be sick? Could he be sick? It's also possible, but not me. Mm -hmm. Only mm, Mike. Okay. 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 All right. Any other questions? No. No for the moment. Okay. Thanks. All right. You're welcome. All right. Let's go to back to the main session. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is share our answers. I hope I think that um, everybody should have been able to complete the exercises. So- Teacher, teacher. teacher. Yeah, you have a question? Okay, Manuel and, and Edgar and me um, have, an, have an a question, have a okay. question. Bueno, okay. vimos que en, en el cuadro de ejemplo estaba usándose como eh, en dos diferentes escenarios el, el might y el, el, el may. Mm -hmm. Ok. ¿Es um, posible para ti to ask me en inglés, Francisco? Sí, sí. Try, try, try. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Ok. 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 Um, in, in one scenario, in scenario um, the might is for he. Okay. In a second. Okay, it's okay. Take your time. He, we, they, she, might, M I G H T. Uh -huh. And the maid, I, you, they, it. Uh -huh. That is correct or or is so it's only a example are you asking if may is only with certain subjects and might with other subjects is that what you're asking yeah okay yeah yeah uh, okay the answer is no uh, you can use may or might uh for any subject okay any subject at all so independent it's independent of um, of the subject. Yes. If it if it's I, you, he, she, it, we, it doesn't matter. Um, it's always going to be um, it's always going to be may or might the two possibilities. So you get to choose. So it could be he might. So it could be I might, I may. You might, you may, he might, he may, she might, she she may, it might, it may, uh, you, um, well, 
um, you, um, plural, so you might, you may, we might, we may, they might, we, they may. So it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. You decide which one you want to use when it's a possibility, when we're talking about possibility, okay? Okay, it's no matter for this, then uh, use it in 12 uh, and, and, and bot uh, form. Sorry, could you repeat that question again? It's not matter, it's no matter, uh, use it in bot form. Made or might, yeah, for, you the, for any subject. It's up to you. You, you, if you like may, use may. If you like might, use might. Okay, so okay. whatever you. Uh, okay, the the rule of the the book is it's not uh, correct, or or it's only a sample. What rule of the book? <laughs> Can I share the screen a second? Yes. Okay, what, what is the question that you want to ask? What, 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 what sentence are you talking about? Okay, that's wood. Yeah, you gotta go a little bit higher up. The may and the might are a little bit higher up. Uh -huh. Okay. What, what what sentence are you referring to? What do you want to ask about? O sea, la, la pregunta es en español puro para que se entienda más rápido. Um, Acá hay ejemplos de que cómo se deben usar. O sea, solo son los ejemplos únicamente para ilustrarnos, no como una regla definida. Right. This is not a rule. These are not rules. They're just sentences so that you can see how they are used. Mm -hmm. Those are not rules. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you just can see how they're used. Okay. okay. Any other questions that you have? Okay. No? Okay. And what I wanted to remind you guys is that when you're asking about a possibility, you the only po the only thing you can use is might, not may. Okay, so to, uh, I I I was um, talking to a group and um, I was giving some examples. Uh, for example, might um, I can say might might he be in trouble. Might he be in trouble? Oops, sorry. Might he be in trouble? You can see that in the chat. Basically, what we're saying is there, podría él estar en problemas? Right? Might he be in trouble? But Mr. is saying, is there a possibility of being in trouble? Right? Okay. For example, or might you, or no, um, let's see, might they, um, might they, might they cancel the wedding? Might they cancel the wedding? So it means, is there a possibility that they could cancel the wedding? Might they cancel the wedding? Right? So that's the only one you're gonna use. We cannot use may. So it's impossible to say, may he be in trouble? Or may they cancel the wedding? Because if you change it to may, it sounds like you're asking for permission. I'm not talking about a possibility. Does that make sense? So 
So if you change it to, may he be in trouble, is a question, it's a question about permission, which doesn't make sense. Or may they cancel the wedding? It means, is, it means, is it a, it, do they give permission to cancel the wedding? Okay, which, which really doesn't make sense. So just make sure that, that when you're asking questions, may is for permission to ask a question about permission and Mike is for um, asking about a possibility. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, can I say the structure of the question with my is uh, my and the subject, um, the verb and complement. Sorry, could you repeat again that structure? Uh, my uh subject uh the, the very the base form and the complement all right exactly so might the subject whatever the subject is right it can be any subject i you he she if we they and then we're going to have the verb in the base form right and if you want which is not necessary but if you want it could be the complement right and I've written that in the chat. Okay, so you can also see that structure in the chat. Okay, all right. So having said that, everybody, let's uh, let's go over the answers. Okay, let's see what you guys had for as answers. Can everybody see that? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, great. So let me ask different people to help me out with this. Okay. So we're going to start with, um, let's start with Warner. Can you give me number one, please, Warner? Number one, teacher, uh, he may not be satisfied the product. Good. He change boldness. Okay, so he might, and it's also possible to say may not be satisfied. Satisfy the product. Okay. All right, there you go. Now, um, if you want, you could just simply leave it as he may not, he might not be satisfied, or he may not be satisfied. Um, but you can add the compound, which is the product. Okay, good. All right, let's see. Can we have a Marvin? Marvin, can you help me with number two? Yes, teacher. Uh, the warranty may be longer. Okay, the warranty may, or also possible might, be longer. And we and, and we can add a compliment if we want. For example, then five years. So it means there's a possibility that the warranty maybe not is longer than the five years. That's what you're saying. Okay. All right. Um, number three, we'll have. Let's have a girl help me out here. Um, Janet, Elsa, Janet, you want to help me with number three? Number three, the service may not be excellent. The service may or might not be excellent. Good. But will enough. But will. Sorry, but what? Enough. Will. Okay, we need a subject. Uh, sorry, a verb, right? So will. What's the what's the verb? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> 
future. Be, right? Will be, will be enough. Okay. Yeah, who said teacher? Have we had a question? No, no teacher. Okay. All right. Let's go now to number four. Let's have, let's see. Let's have Julio Cesar help me with number four. Okay, um, number four I have, you might use a different website than the one recommended. Okay, okay. All right, you might or you may uh -huh. use a different website. Okay, website than the one that was recommended. Mm -hmm. Okay, could be. Actually, that's a big word. Oh, we'll just say that. Okay, um, so very good. Um, there you go. Okay, so the you might you might use a different website than the one that was recommended, mm -hmm. or it could be May, right? So either one. Okay, next, uh, number five, let's have, um, let's see, who can do it for me? We'll have uh, Marvin. He waited, uh, may I be in a hurry? Okay, the, the waiter may or might be in a hurry. Good. And if you want, you can add something else, right? For example, maybe in a hurry. With my glass. Okay, with Water. glass. Okay, good. All right, excellent. Let's have um, Suleyma. Okay. Uh, Amanda might not use the black dress. Okay, might or may not use the black dress. Okay, just, um, just be careful though with the word with when we're talking about um, when we're talking about clothes, we don't normally use um, the word use. With clothes, we use the word wear. So you wear clothes, you don't use clothes. So maybe um, I would probably, instead of using a dress, I would say something else. So Amanda might, might or not, might not or may not use the black, what? Something that you, you don't wear? Be Amanda may or might not use the black um, car. car dress. Yeah, the black car, right? Because you you can use a car, but you you don't use clothes. Mm -hmm. Good. Any questions, guys, so far? So as long as you use the first part, you should be okay. The, like, the compliments are going to be different for everybody, right? Okay. A different. This is going to be different for everybody. But as long as you use the, the, the first part, it will be okay. Okay. So the, the part that is in parentheses, that's the part that will probably be different for everybody. Okay. We'll just cut that. Um, Uh, 
Other than that, they all should be the same. Um. Okay. Yeah. Any questions so far, guys? Any questions? Um, no, I think we're well. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You're okay. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Okay. It's okay, teacher. Okay, Jim. All right. Good. Uh, oops. Let's erase this now because otherwise you won't be able to see it. Um. Okay. So now it's going to be your turn. So now it's your, your, your turn. Work in pairs. Imagine you just received a package you ordered online. So this is going to be um, imagining. So this is not real, just something you want you to imagine. Um, and it says here, um, the product you got is not what you expected. Okay, so you ordered a product online, not what you expected. And you are dissatisfied. Complain to your friend about it and tell him or her what you may or might do about it. Okay, so imagine, imagine what, what do you do? What do you do when you receive a package that you're not satisfied with? What possibilities are there? Okay, and then you're gonna switch roles. So then if you are the one who's complaining, then in the second part, your partner's gonna be complaining. Is this clear what we're going to be doing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Anybody not ha have any problems? Sorry, anybody have any problems um, understanding this or is it clear for everybody? No problem. All right, so we're going to make the groups. We're going to see the pairs. Um, let's see, I have 17 of you, so we'll have pretty much two people. Okay. Uh, and let's see, I think 10 minutes should be enough. Okay, so let's open all the rooms. Here we go. Tell me more. Um, tell me more about your experience because we need to talk about bad experience and what what is the possibilities about you do? Okay, I bought um to 
uh, orders of hamburger, but I expected that hamburgers uh, maybe uh, that was uh, more big. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you so I saw the bigger. Oh, not sorry. more big. It's okay. Don't worry. No, it's fine. I'm just helping you there. So instead of saying more big, it's bigger. Mm -hmm. like more bigger. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Not not more bigger. Just bigger. And it's bigger. Bigger. Yeah, just bigger. Uh -huh. And when I saw the 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 picture or the photograph, uh, I imagine. A big hamburger. <laughs> and the reality, the reality was was um so. The bad experience was really uh, yeah because the hamburger was uh, very small and uh, no, rice is very uh, expensive, I guess. Okay. Okay, that's good. About my experience when I bought something online, it was the last year I bought a wash online. And you I bought a what? Yes. No, I bought what did you buy? Watch. Oh, a watch. Watch. Oh. watch. Okay. Watch. And, and then uh, when I received my, my product was so different. So was different color and was so. Wow, wow. What, what is the... What problem did you have? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, I was going to say, 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 I was going my Any questions, guys? Uh, teacher, if I want to say I received my shoes with a uh, wrong size, is correct or? I received the wrong size. Wrong size. Wrong size shoes. The wrong size shoes. So it's not okay. the shoes with wrong size, it's the wrong size okay. shoes. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, for me, it's no, it's okay. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Remember that the idea is to use the may and the might. So don't forget that. Don't forget okay. to use may and might. Okay. Yeah. Might, este, por decir, yo podría haber hecho eso, podría haber hecho lo otro. About your experience. Mm, eh. Press en la página. Ok, pero yo lo estoy haciendo en, en tercera persona, te estoy diciendo como que vos lo estás haciendo. Ajá. O sea, como eh, la, el producto que especificaste, que buscaste, tiene diferentes dimensiones de las Ahora. que ha recibido. Try, try to, to make it in English, Francisco. 
Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> I, know that it's I try, I try. <laughs> exactly. I know that it's not easy. I, I understand that. But the more you try, the, the better you will get at it. So it just, you know, force yourself, obligate yourself to, to speak it. And you will see that little by little, you will get bad at it, better at it. Okay. So just keep at it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. <laughs> You don't understand me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. The project that I requested have different dimension that you do you want to have received. The project does have the specification the, the specification with a further form uh, than here specified. Uh, okay. And remember, guys, that the pur the purpose of this activity is also to talk about what are the possibilities that you would have with this product that you're dissatisfied with. Like, what are you gonna do? What what do you plan to do it? Like, uh, you can, okay. say, for example, oh, I might get a refund, or I might forget about it and not use it. For example, um, I don't remember who it was. I think it was uh, uh, Noemi that she said. Um, I bought the dress and yeah, I decided I'm not gonna do anything about it, right? So I might not do anything about it because you know it's not worth it. Like this. Okay, that that means like it's a possibility that Marvin might not be happy with it, right? That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Discovery. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, what are the situation or possibilities with a product? Okay, Marvin. Um, Hi, Manuel. Hello. How are you? Uh, my, uh, my classmate um, um, uh, no, uh, no connect. Um, okay. Actually, um, yes, she is connected. Um, soy, soy la, Mimi. Would you do me a big favor? Um, I know that right now you may not be able to speak, but could you at least um, chat with Manuel? Could you do it like through the chat? No. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, Lenemi, is that possible? Do it through the chat. Uh, she is, uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. That way, then Manuel also can have a little bit of um, practice, right? Okay. All right. So, go ahead and um, you can you can write a bit of the sentences there in the chat, okay? Teacher, lo que pasa es que también soy un poco descontinuada porque no entré ayer ni antier. Okay, have you been seeing the videos? No. Okay, it's it's important, um, sorry that if you are not able to connect for whatever reason, try okay. to see the videos, right? Yes. So that that you are at least you have the idea of what what happened. Um, do you understand the mic and the? I, I explained a little bit. Did you understand about it? So so. The so so. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to quickly show in the whiteboard what we talked about yesterday. So yesterday we talked about that might, so, this is um this was about a may and might right so basically we saw that there are three reasons uh, there are, well, yeah three reasons why we use uh, may and might and basically when you're asking a question well, wait, when you're we can talk about may when we're giving permission okay and example, um, we, so this is for, this is only for me. This is only for me. And we can ask for permissions like, um, may I go to the restroom, please? May I go to the best room, please? Okay, you're asking for permission. Okay. And, the, and they can answer, yes, you may, or no, you may okay. not. Okay, so they're, they're basically, you're saying, yes, you have the permission to go to the restroom, or no, you don't have the permission to go to the restroom, right? So that's what we saw, we saw yesterday, that we can use um, may for possibilities, uh, uh, sorry, for, for permissions, and for asking for permission and giving permission. May not is also for the negative of the permission, okay? And we saw yesterday as well, that we can also use it to talk about possibilities. Oh, by the way, we can only use um, may with permissions. Or better said, better said, for permissions, it's only possible to use the may. For possibilities, my. possibilities, for possibilities, you can either use may or might. So that one is interchangeable. You can decide you're going to use may or might. Okay. And examples of this would be something like. Um, he may he's sick it means it's a possibility that he's sick or um, they might get mad that means that there's a possibility of getting mad you can decide if you're going to be using may or might it's up to you okay in either way you're you're going to always using um, so you can use may or might it's up to you you decide okay and when we are asking about possibility when you're asking about possibility then we can use Possibilities, right? For possibility, oh, sorry, questions, questions, let's see, questions about possibilities. For questions about possibilities, then you can also use 
um, the might. Okay, for questions of possibility. Okay, example. Oh, sorry, let me read over here. The only possibility with this one is might. Okay, and you can say, for example, might, um, might he have to work this weekend? I mean, is there a possibility that he's going to work this weekend? Okay. Or another possibility is might might there be any might there be any milk at home? That means, is there a possibility that there's milk at home? Okay. All right, so that's my right there. Okay. And make sure that after, make sure that after the, um, the, 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 the mic, we always, we're always going to be using the base form of the verb. Go, be, that have to, or has to, right? It's have to because it's the base form of the verb. And here, be. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Is this pretty clear for you, Sona? Yes. Yes. All right. So I, that's basically I where we're going. Take a picture. I take a picture. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Take a picture. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. So, guys, I'll see you in the main room. I'm going to stop sharing right now. And I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, wonderful guys. So who would like to um, share with the class their conversation? Volunteers? Come on, Wagner. Edgar, you want to volunteer? Werner. All right, who's your partner, Edgar? Werner. Hey, aquí estoy. <laughs> here, here. Come on, Werner, come on. All right, Werner, we're ready for you. Okay. Uh, and you, Werner? Okay. Hi, Edgar. Okay. Hi, Edgar. I buy online. Uh, what what did you buy? Uh, Sanchez, but I meet uh, no state. Why? Um, just say yes to Lars. What is your level of this of satisfaction? Um, about uh, about bite. Finish, teacher. <laughs> Okay, right. Very good, guys. Bravo. Very good. 
Okay, let's give you guys that thumbs up. Okay, excellent, guys. All right, one more? One more group, who wants to be next? Who wants to be next? Arby. Okay, all right, San Francisco? Yes. Okay, all right. Francisco and Marvin, you have our attention. Hey, Marvin. How are you, man? Very good, man. Oh, that's good. Hey, you tell me uh, about the product that you requested for a uh, uh, buy online yesterday? Uh, yes, the product that I request is not that I perceive. Why, man? The problem does have the specification with a field the form. Oh, okay. What more have this? Uh, the product I request, I have different dimensions that do you want have received. Okay, oh, do you, do you receive it? Okay, Marvin, um, might not be happy with that result, yeah? Excuse me, repeat, please. Marvin, Marvin, mine up. Not you be happy with the result. Uh, you may be able to return the product to the seller. Yes, yes. May you demand the company for fraud? Yes, I may. Okay, that's all. Thanks. All right, very good, guys. Bravo. All right, let me give that applause and that thumbs up. Excellent guys. All right, so what we're gonna do now is speaking about dissatisfaction. When you are dissatisfied, you, can, you have different options, right? One, you can simply ignore it, right? You can just simply go, oh, well, for example, um, Suleyma Yvonne, you you looked at the product and what did you do? What did you do with the? Sorry, I I, I can hear you. Okay, you were telling us about um, the dress. Ah, okay, okay, yes. What did you do with the dress? Um, um, uh, it's in my closet. <laughs> So, so you did nothing, right? You just said, oh, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I lost the money. What can you do, right? So that's one option, right? You just simply ignore it and say, okay, you know, that's life. And another option could be to complain, right? You can complain about it. And when you complain about it, there are diff then the company will give you different options. And one of those options is to refund your money. You guys understand refund money? Yeah. Yes. There's some people that are shaking. No, it's okay. All right. Refund means that they give you the money back. Okay. So if you paid, if you paid thirty dollars for it, you get the thirty dollars back. Okay. Not not half, but a, a full refund means that they completely give you your money back. Okay. So that's where actually we're gonna be looking at today. So let's take a look over here. Tell me if you can see, if you can see the PowerPoint. Yes? Yes. Yes. All right, wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna need some volunteers to help me read this information. This, are, this is a refund form. So uh, they're probably going to always ask, every time you want to get a refund, they're probably gonna ask you to complete a form. So let's have some people help me with the reading. Um, well, first of all, the, here's the, the address. We have the sender's name and address, right? This is... Um, this is regarding the person that is asking for the refund. And here we have the address of the place 
right, of the company, which is Waterlux Inc., Travelers Inc. 23, Lenway San Carlos, is California 0570. Okay, so uh, I need a volunteer to help me read the notes here. Um, and volunteer, anybody? I'll help you. Okay, great. Let's go for it. Let's see. Uh, uh, please note number one or the full notes. Yeah, the, yeah, the notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. the whole thing. Please note, Waterloo's customer satisfaction warranty is ninety days from the date to of purchase. Mm -hmm. Number two, retain a copy of your records and close the original with the merchandise. Number three. Use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. All items returned will require the original order number recorded on the form so credit can be processed. Okay, very good. All right, excellent. Um, all right, thank you very much, Julio Cesar. All right, so these are the conditions that the company has given. To be able to get a refund or your money back, it means that they, first, they have to, they only give you 90 days to get your money back from the day that, that you purchased it. Then after that, you can't get it, your money back. Second thing, you retain the copy, you have to retain the copy of your records and put the original merchandise, okay? So you have, to, you have to include the original merchandise. And the other thing is that um, you have to use one line per item, okay? And you have to have the original order number. Okay, so let's take a look. At, these are the conditions. Now let's take a look at the information the person has provided. Uh, Jose Alberto, can you help me read this information? Yes, stock data and that information. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stock details, reason cards, item numbers, quantity, day of purchase or their number relevant reason. Okay, good. Can you read the information at the bottom too? So you can read it like that. Reason code, DPV, sorry, DPP, item number, blah, 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 quantity, blah, blah, blah. Can you read it like that? Oh, reason codes. GPP, yeah. item number, uh, number B7869, yes. 136, they purchased uh, November 23, 23rd, uh, 2017, or the number 344555. Or seven relevant reason missing parts. All right, thank you very much, Josue. Excellent. All right, okay, so the person has already completed this. Yeah. Okay, so my question is first question What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? What's the reason? Um, Dissatisfaction um, product performance. Good, exactly. We have here the reason is D and PP, right? Uh, so then this corresponds over here. The D responds to the satisfaction, and the PP is the product performance. So the product does not perform very well. Okay, good. Next question Do you think that the customer would get the refund? What do you guys think about that? Is it possible for the customer to get the refund? 
Your opinion, Elsie, would you say that the customer is going to get a refund? Yes or no? And why yes or why no? The customer has a this, this dissatisfaction. Yeah, that's right. But do you think that the company is going to give them their money back? Yeah. Yes? Francisco says yes. What do you say, NC? Do you think the customer is going to get their money back? I don't understand, teacher. Okay, so these are the conditions, the terms, okay? yeah. the terms that the, that the company puts. Esas son las condiciones para poder tener un refund. What is a refund? In Spanish, how do you say refund? Reembolso. Reembolso. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, or reembolso o devolución de dinero, right? Okay, so these, the company says, yes, we can give you your money back, but you have to comply with these three things. One, you have to have the customer um, warranty is only 90 days from the date of purchase. Two, you have to enclose the original merchandise in a copy of the records. And three, only use one item per, um, it says all quantities are to be reported face. All items returned with the original order number, so we have to have the original order number. Now, question. According to this information that the, the company provides and the information that this is the information from the customer, do you think it's possible for the customer to get the money back, the refund? Yes. Why? Why do you think it's possible? Because it's not only dissatisfaction, uh, it's uh, product performance too. Okay. Okay, good. All right, let me ask, um, let's see, uh, Magali. What do you think, Magali? Sorry, teacher, I have a problem with my connection. Oh, uh, okay. internet connection. Can, can, uh, can you hear me? See, I guess I, I hear you. Okay. It, mm -hmm. uh, repeat, please, la, the, the question. Okay, uh, my question is, according to... Hola the information, these are the conditions that Waterlux has to be able to get the money back. And this is the information that the customer provided. Mm -hmm. Do you think that according to the terms, do you think that the customer is going to get their money back? Mm -hmm. no. yeah. ¿Es posible que le vayan a devolver el dinero? ¿Le vaya a dar un reembolso? Ay, oye, ay, los. So, these, these are the conditions. And this is the information the customer gives. But the date is in the no, November 11, no, is, see, November 28, 2017. Exactly, November 23rd, 2017. So do you think it's going, they're going to give them, uh -huh. do you think they're, they're gonna give the customer the re refund? 
Ay, todo el mundo está entre... ¿Cree que le van a dar el, 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 el dinero de regreso? Yes or no? No. Why? Why not? What is the problem? With my connection, the internet No, no, no. I meant what's the problem with this. I meant what's the problem with this. The, the, the date? The date. The, yeah. the date. Exactly. Notice it's 2017, right? Right. And we are in 2021, right? And here it says the warranty is? 90 days. 90 days, exactly. So it's, it's not possible. Exactly. Even if they have all the information correct, mm -hmm. even if they have all the okay. information correct, notice that the rule, what they ask for is 90 days right. from the date of purchase. So if, if they have already um, passed, 90 days, then it's going to be impossible for the company to give back the money. And obviously, uh, November 23rd, 2017, that was a long time ago. Not possible. Do we understand? Yeah, miss, but yeah. if uh, the uh, refund form is in the 90 days is, but is a relevant reason missing part. Bueno, si está en el tiempo, yo creería que sí necesita, o sea. But these are the conditions. If, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, it's for that example. And if the years will be uh, 20, oh, if the day will be today, uh, I think the uh, return form is correct for the reason can be asked for a uh, re re refund. Um, well, if if the if if the if this was not a problem, yes, they would probably yeah. have a refund. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but remember, it's been years it's been more than three years since the person bought it so it says missing parts but how do you how do you prove that there's missing parts after three years <laughs> right yeah yeah it's true pero si o sea si fuese un caso real o sea nuestro uh -huh. en este uh -huh. tiempo o sea uh, la forma está llena correcta o sea yes. y una razón válida o sea que el Que se perdieron las partes. Que exactly. que se... Oh, yeah. Yeah. If this was to give you an example, if yeah. this was, um, I don't know, get a red, get a December, January, and not todavía. Okay. No. Um, let's say that this was, let's say the date was not, imagine the date was, um, December 12, 12, 12, 28, yeah, 12, 28, 2020, okay? Imagine that that was the date, okay? Um, so let me just make it smaller. Okay, so imagine that this was the date the, the date. In that case, then it would be okay because that was means that they per, the person bought it um, on December 28th, 2020, which is less than, than three months ago, right? Because they, it would be three months in, in, on, in Mar March 28th, but we're still on time. We're still on time. It's possible 
to, to still make the changes. So in that case, yes, it would be valid. All of this information is entered correctly. Yes, so then yes, they would receive the money back. Okay, sounds good? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, guys, um, so let me, All right, let me go now to the next part. So if you notice, um, yeah, so here we're talking about uh, refunds and getting refunds, um, you know, it's, it's very tricky because normally the companies don't wanna give a refund, right? They, they normally want to, um, they don't want to, give money back, basically. So you got to be very careful of how you fill out a form and, um, and that you have done it correctly. So what we're going to do right now is um, we're going to talk about using two verbs that are similar, but not the same. And these two verbs, again, we are going to be talking about model auxiliaries, just like can, like could, like may, like might. This one is actually called would. And would like. So let's say they, they look similar, but they're not the same. So let's talk a little bit about the difference about those two. Okay. So would. Would and would like. Okay, would and would like. So, would the the verb uh, the word verb sorry sorry the verb the the auxiliary would is normally. We, uh, we use the auxiliary to ask for, um, it could ask be, it, um, oh no, sorry, sorry. Uh, we use it to talk about um, something that you are asking, like um, a request, okay? Say a request. So we can use wood for request. Example. Would you help me complete this form. Would you help me complete this form? So it's a request. Okay. Does that make sense? So would you would you help me uh, complete this form? How would you say that in Spanish? Any ideas how you would say it in Spanish? Me podrían ayudar a completar este formulario. Okay, me podría ayudar a completar este formulario o me podrías ayudar, right? So it could, the, because remember, you could be plural or it could be singular, right? So would you help me complete this form? So that would be a request, okay? That's one way that we can use would, okay? Um, another way that we can use would, or better, so another, uh, another, example of a request would be, um, let me see. Would okay. would she 
Would she um, give me a phone number? Yeah, could be. Would she give me her phone number? She give me her phone number. Okay, so that is a request. Okay, or well, your your in other words, a request is you're asking somebody to do something for you, or to do like a favor. Okay, sounds good. Yes. Far so good. It's clear for everybody. Uh, in that uh, question, uh, will she give? me her phone number is not more cool could she or could she give me um yes it's it's possible it's also it's possible to use the word could right um would is just simply basically just it's more of a general request whereas could is more polite you're asking it very politely does that make sense it's 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 basically like in Spanish you say, eh, for example, me de, me, me daría ella su número de teléfono, and could would be, podría ella darme su número de teléfono. So me daría ella su número de, te, de teléfono. It's very polite, but we're just being like general, whereas. Could is more talking about the ability. Podría ella darme su número de teléfono? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Um, okay, so that's with, uh, with the wood. Um, it's also possible. talk about conditions. 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 Okay. So for example, uh, we can say, oh, sorry, condition. I'm sorry, not conditions, conditionals, sorry. Conditionals. Conditionals. Example, um, I can say, uh, if, no, oh, let's start with what. Um, We we would change that. We would we would go again if we could. Or if we had the money, let's say, if we had the money, we would go again if we had the money. So this is a condition, right? So the condition is we have money, right? Having money, then that means we would go again. So we can use the word with condition. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, we can also use... Uh, we could, we could also use it with the negative. Okay. And this is talking about possibilities. We can also, it's also possible to talk about possibilities. Um, in the future. possibilities in the future. So we could say,
time. Words. Actually, I'm going to make a contraction there because I want you to know that the, the sauce is also able to contract the wood and say to simply I'd. Okay, so I chain or I'd um, get a refund. I'd get a refund. Okay. All right, now with would, that's with would, but with like, basically with like means that's the choice that I have and that I prefer, okay? So this is, so would like is a choice A choice you have made and prefer. Okay. A choice you have made and prefer. Example. We we no, I already used we. He would like to try the blue the blueberry Cheesecake here. He would like to try the blueberry cheesecake here. Okay, so maybe you're at the restaurant and you're saying, yes, he would like to try the blueberry cheesecake here. So that means that he's made a choice and he prefers that choice. That's what it means would like. Now, notice here that with the wood, the only thing, Notice we go directly, unless it's, unless it's a question, we go directly to the base form of the verb. So we have help. We have help. We have give, base form of the verb, independent if it's I, you, he, she, if we, they. Um, we have go here, okay. Oh, I made a mistake here. I, this should have been green, but it doesn't really matter anymore. Get, okay. They're all in the base from the verb. And notice this one as well. Where is, but this one actually, instead of having the base form of the verb, we use the to infinitive. Okay, so this is with the to infinitive. All right, so whenever we're going to be using the, um, Whenever we use the, uh, the would like, we always have to use the to infinitive after. Does that sound good, everybody? Yeah, sounds good. Any questions so far? Okay. No? Okay. Um, all right, let's stop sharing here. Can I book online? Huh? Can I book online? Yeah, we can get a lot of things. All right, guys. Um, so, um, so what I want you to do, um, 
this is actually going to be for homework. So I'm going to I'm going to show you. Okay, so you, you can even take a picture there. It says, work individually, write a seven sentence paragraph explaining what you would do if a customer wanted a refund to a bad service or product he or she paid for. So imagine that your workplace, the, the, the person um, has bought, the, the customer has bought something, but they are not satisfied with the product and they want to have a refund. What would you do? Okay, I want you to write a seven paragraph, um, well, a seven sentence paragraph, and um, you're going to be sharing your paragraph with the class tomorrow. Okay, so you're going to write the paragraph for homework, and then you're going to share it tomorrow. Sounds good? Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. You want to take a picture of it? If not, it's fine. So I'm going to stop sharing right now. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so any questions so far? Anything you want to ask about? Make sure make sure in the in um, make sure that you are using um, the wood and would like. Okay, just be careful about that. Okay. All right, guys, um, let me see. Well, pretty much we're finished with the class there. Um, I'm just going to ask, let's see, oh my goodness, I can't get there. Um, okay. All right, uh, so no questions at this moment? Nothing you wanna ask about before we, we leave? No. no, no teacher, no teacher. Okay. All right, guys, in that case, um, I'm just going to um, ask, uh, let me see. All right, just give me a second. Uh, we have, let's see what it is. We have um, Manuel de Jesus Montoya. So you can stay behind and everybody else, um, well, you're free to leave. And it's been a great ple pleasure having you guys again and um, take care. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. All right, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. Good night. Oh. Um.